the show today. So uh, you may or may not know that content hub that I've, well, let's see, it is from August 2018. So it is kind of old. Um, it's a, a simple game. Uh, it's a bingo tool that you can install on your platform. Then you can, in this case, uh, not use numbers. You can use numbers, but here you can also um, assign words to those fields. And then you, uh, you know how that works, like bullshit bingo. You listen to some boring lecture and uh, yeah, you... You, you highlight what the, the person in front has said. And then if you get five in a row, doesn't matter if it's a column or row or... I think diagonally works as well. Yeah, it works as well. Then you can stream bingo and then you won. So that's a content type and it had... No, it didn't have really, really an issue. It's kind of an H5P issue, but you see here it is fine. Um, if I go to my next screen, I'll, I have one local instance, which is the same content, but you will notice one issue with it quickly. So here it is. So you see it doesn't fit on screen. Um, it's the same content type, um, same content actually, but uh, yeah, that's the way it is. H5P always scales the content to full width. And if it's, well, if it's, it's a square and um, it has the same height, and if that if it happens to be on a, on a landscape screen, well, then it doesn't fit, of course. So I have added a new option here and uh, actually I have two options, but that is the one I'm talking about now. So you can edit that content type now and you can go to the, uh, where is it? Visuals? No, it's not visuals. It's the behavioral settings. Here it is. Uh, so you, they, it's kind of experimental. I'm not sure if it always will work, but there's a height limit mode that you can set and here it says no limit. So <laughs> that's why it blows up all the way. And then you have two more options. So let's say the simple solution would have been to, which is custom, where you can define like a maximum height, let's say, I don't know, it should be 200 pixels for whatever reason, I, I want 200 pixels. And if I save that, uh, then we'll, I will get that bingo content in, well, maximum height of 200 pixels, which is pretty small, of course, but it still works. But let's say you needed 200 pixels for whatever reason, then you could. But that of course is not ideal because it, it wastes this space here. I have more space to use, like uh, vertical space. So that is not the best option to use. So it's still in there. So because I know some people are pretty, um, they want to really define it so they can, but you can also go to, um, uh, go in here and you can go to automatic. And if I save now, it should ignore the, the 200 pixels. I have to check it, it does. And you see, okay, it somehow is smaller and it uh, fits the screen. So you'll notice it automatically tries to detect the height, which is not, given how HRV works in iframe, it's not always perfect. And you see it's, it's not perfect here because some something is still hidden, you see. So because Drupal has this kind of sticky overlay and that is something that I can't account for. Um, yeah, but you see it, it perfectly, actually it, it would fit on screen. So all the, the bingo um, fields would be visible. So that is one of the new features. It's, yeah, and it's kind of experimental. I'm not sure if it will always work. Like in this case where you have this sticky overlay, it won't work perfectly because HIV has no way of knowing about that overlay. So I can't make it smaller, but yeah, that should work in general. And then there is one more feature which we won't be able to perfectly enjoy because I had to, um, yeah, if you joined uh, later on uh, Sound Trouble, I had to deactivate something here. So um, we can't, you probably will not hear my audio, but I added two audio options that people ask for. So first of all, you could add a sound if like that just happens when you click on something when, yeah, I don't know, it could be like a flip sound, whatever a flip sound would be. So whenever the page flips or not the page, uh, the one of the cards, or fields or whatever you would like to call it. And most interestingly, um, this this one is of course great uh, because if you completed a row or a column or something in diagonal, then maybe you would have like to have a sound that plays. So um, I can try to record that now. I guess that will still work, although my microphone is used in OBS as well. So let's record it now. Oh, no, no, let's try it again. Reset. Ah, that is some confirm. Yeah, I want to reset. So let's say, Bingo! So now I have my bingo recorded and I can insert it. And <laughs> uh, I can, uh, it's uh, Drupal, it's down here. Um, if I now save it, that you can see there is an, an audio button now. So 
you can see something has happened and I could deactivate it, of course, but um, you won't hear that now. But if I get five in a row somewhere, you would hear my bingo screen. So uh, that's also a new feature of bingo. Um, yeah, pretty small tool and uh, the use cases are probably limited, but I wrote that kind of for a friend, for a dear friend of mine, and uh, she likes it. And she wanted to have it, so and she got it. And now it got a little better. Maybe you have some use cases for that. 